fun and play with Abraham. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Abraham. We are going to read an animal book. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel, Learn and Play with Abraham. It is lovely to have all of you on board. Today, we are going to read a very interesting book, which is discuss about some particular animals in details let's get started shall we abraham yes, yes are you happy yes okay. okay let's start it's animal animals up close so there's a lot of animals that's been discussed the first one is whiskery weasel this woodland creature is one of the smallest furry hunters in the world. The weasel is no bigger than a Mom, guinea pig, but no really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds very scary. Let's see what it says. Uh, the weasel is no bigger than a guinea pig, but it is a fierce and hunter. And whiskery weasels are bigger than some wolverines. Okay. Its prey can be ten times bigger than the weasel itself. A slim body and a short legs allow the weasel to crawl down holes and through cracks in the rocks in search of prey oh my goodness they oh. are small but they are fierce i never knew that how about you friends did you know that that which green weasels are like wolverines oh yes that's interesting let's see sensitive whiskers help the weasels to find its way around especially at night and an underground. In, in cold climates, the weasel sheds its brown fur coat and grows a white coat for winter. <gasps> That's amazing. That's a little like a camouflage, Abraham. Yeah. Why you cook a That's right. This makes it hard to spot in the snow. Oh my goodness. Look at this, friends. This looks very interesting for me to learn. How about you? The next one is Desert Scorpion. Okay, let's find out what is it special about this Desert Scorpion. By the name of it, we can say that we can find scorpion in where? The desert. In the desert. Yes, it's a hot area. Let's find out what it is. Among the most dangerous creatures in the desert is a scorpion. Oh my. It kills prey such as insects, lizards and mice and protects itself from with the, its stinging tail and powerful piercers. It can survive in dry, empty desert for months without water and can live on a meal for a single insect for more than a year. Oh my goodness, that sounds insane. What do you think, Abraham? I think it's interesting. Some desert scorpions are white scorpions. Yeah? Oh my goodness. I mean, it's just insane that they can live without the food for a year. Oh, like oh. a bacteria camel. <clears throat> That's right, even camels, they can live for a long time without drinking water. Once they drink, they will store it. Okay, let's get started again. The long sharp tip on the tail injects venom into the scorpion's victim. The effect, effects of this can be very painful. Oh my goodness, how do you make a painful face when you are in pain? Oh, okay. Some kinds of desert scorpion can even kill humans. Oh dear, it sounds serious. If their sting is left untreated, that means once yeah. somebody has got sting, then they should be taken they, into medical they attention. Can tell what scorpion is a flipper. That's right. Okay. Let, oh my friends, look at this. Oh, oh what is this? 
it's like a rattlesnake. Yeah, it look it is like a rattlesnake, but it says it's a racer snake. Oh, that's okay. Dangerous. Yeah, it looks really fierce and I can it's see this puffiness it. around his and neck. They can eat me. Yeah, let's see what it is, okay? Shall we read it? Yeah? Green scales hide the snake as it slithers up forest trees. In its search for food, the snake sometimes hunt in, hunts in dark caves where there are plenty of bats, lizards, frogs and small birds to eat. If threatened, it can puff up its body and its throat to make it look bigger and scarier. Oh my! Unlike most snakes, which have more rounded bodies, the bottom of this racer snake is very flat. This creates a sturdy base for the snake as it climbs up trees or over rocks using its bumpy belly scales to grip. Mm. They have some modification of their body to uh, facilitate um, their body movement. That's interesting to know. How about you, Abraham? You see, they have the, the tail around. They have flat body so that they can climb very easily. That's interesting. So I think this is going to be the last one for today's video. Uh, let's read this harvest mouse. Let's find out what it is. Um, there is this very cute looking mouse. Fields and meadows with long grass are this tiny mouse's favorite places Mom, to live. It's not the egg again. Oh, okay. It's a speedy climber and scampers from plant to plant like a monkey in the trees of a forest. It spends summer finding seeds and fruit to eat. It eats as much as it can to get fat on its body ready for the colder months. In winter, it shelters from the cold in a burrow. Do you know burrow is a place where the mouse and and uh, rabbits or bunnies they live did you know that abraham and wolverines live in their own houses burrows oh yeah abraham seems a little bit more interested in wolverine okay its long tail can coil around almost a anything it acts like an extra hand grabbing onto things and helping and helping with balance the harvest mouse can hang upside down from a stem by no, by nothing but its tail oh that means they must have a very very strong tail um that's it for today guys maybe we can continue reading it if you like the video just let us know we are in page 10 and there's some more interesting animals that we can go uh, and read ahead so if you like this um, video please like share and subscribe. subscribe to our channel please come back to us and let us know how you feel you can do you can leave your comment the video uh, we will see you in next one <laughs> say bye bye to your friends